When mom tells these babies it's a scary world out there, so be careful, she's saying a mouthful. Cichlid fish here in Africa's Lake Tanganyika have a big problem with predators. Other fish will do whatever it takes to get cichlid babies and gobble them up. Just scaring them off isn't the answer. The cichlid has to create a safe haven for its young, using its mouth as both shovel and bucket. Then it moves its wriggling brood to safety, mouthful by mouthful. When they're not in the hole, the cichlid babies are in mom's mouth. That's why the cichlid are called mouth brooding fish. Mom's mouth is both nest and nursery. Like all good moms, this one lets her babies out to play and then provides protection when it's time to come home. It seems like a foolproof system for keeping the young ones safe. But it's not. Let's introduce a predator that is so wily, it's able to hijack the evolutionary process itself. These catfish are notorious parasites. They're after the eggs of the cichlid, but the cichlid fiercely defend their young. The catfish are able to pick off a few eggs, and they also drop a few of their own eggs, knowing that the cichlid mothers will pick them up, thinking they're her own. And so the cichlid becomes a surrogate mother to a predator. The catfish take off, never knowing what becomes of their young ones. Mother does her job, letting the brood grow in her mouth. Now, as in a bad horror movie, the catfish eggs hatch first. And the baby catfish feast on the cichlid babies, gobbling down every single one. Finally, the cichlid mother releases, not her own children, but the catfish cannibal kitties. Ironically, the cichlid whose brood they destroyed is the only mother they'll ever know. More irony, the cichlid mom fails to sense the switch. She treats the catfish as if they were her own, scooping them up to protect them at the first hint of danger. The catfish have clearly won this round in the eternal fight for evolutionary dominance. <laughs>